Hello, this is Dr. J, back with some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We have saved Princess Rudo and acquired the Zora's Sapphire, the last of the spiritual stones. Let's see if the royals have anything to say to us after this accomplishment. That, I just realized there is one heck of a size difference between you two. Good grief. Well, presumably it will soon. Sure did. Okay, well, they don't have much to say, but their dialogue changed. And the king is appreciative. Never hurts to have a member of a royal family in your debt. Uh, let's see if any of the other Zoras have anything new to say. Yep. I'm amazing. You're quite welcome. How about you? Yeah, she seems to have developed quite the crush on us. To be fair, we were pretty gallant and valiant. Okay, it seems like they just have a few stock pieces of dialogue they utter now. Okay, well, that being the case, I think the next thing that we're going to do is return to Hyrule Castle and report our success to... Princess Zelda. So I will meet you there. Oddly, the gate to Hyrule Castle Town seems to be up. Seems unusual. And even if it's daytime, as we approach, things start to get kind of dim and stormy. I have a bad feeling. It's our dream. It's coming true. Dang, Zelda has one heck of a throwing arm. telling you anything, you scum. That's right. I'm the holder of the Triforce of Courage. Guts is my best attribute. Unfortunately, as a child, we are no match for the power of the evil sorcerer Ganondorf. That's an awesome horse he's got. Gotta admit, Ganondorf has style. Well, that was all kinds of ominous. By the way, it occurs to me, I've been forgetting to check in with Saria recently. Yeah, down right left. Let's see what she has to say about all this.
Me too, Saria. Okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, something bad must be happening at the castle if Ganondorf just, just chased the princess and her retainer out. Do the townsfolk or the guards have anything to say about all this? This dude's totally oblivious. Did you not see the evil sorcerer chasing your princess and her attendant out of the castle just now? Did that somehow escape your notice? Scared of what? Okay, well these people seem to realize something's going on. At least some of them do. The Gerudo King of Thieves. Nothing new there. Those two are still off in their own little world. She still just cares about her, her dog. But at least some of the people around here were paying a bit of attention. That's not a bad idea at all, old woman. I would get out of here post-haste, were I you? Wow, keen eye. Maybe you're not completely senile after all. What happened indeed? Does the guy up here have anything to say? Sure is. Do the guards at the castle have anything to say? Probably not, I'm guessing. Hey man, is everything okay? I just saw your princess fleeing for her life from some Gerudo king of thieves. Seems like bad stuff going on. There's a lot going on in the castle right now. Can't tell even the dog. So we can't even bribe him to get in now. Okay, well, we could proceed to the next part of the story, but first, now that we have the boomerang, there's actually a whole lot of Skulltilas we can get now that we couldn't get before. Uh, some other items too. So I'm going to do a quick montage as I do a roundup of a whole bunch of items before we prepare to proceed to the next part of the story. It's going to go real fast for you, but for me... It's probably going to take me quite a while to record this episode because I got a lot of places to go, things to see, things to do. So uh, I will meet you for said montage momentarily. Okay, before we even get any Skulltillas, something to note. Now that we have all three spiritual stones, we can find this strange man by Lon Lon Ranch. Uh, excuse me, rude. I'm tr trying to have a conversation here. Get out of here. He seems pretty chill about what he just witnessed. He says, in old times, I heard there were many wild rabbits in the land of Hyrule. Not anymore, though, because of excessive hunting. I want to become a rabbit. Listen to the wind with those ears, hop across the ground with those legs. Even if I can only pretend. I may be able to help you with that, sir. Behold, every rabbit cosplayer's dream. That... That's a little disturbing, dude. You don't have to wiggle quite like that. The voices? What voices? This man is scaring me. Uh, this dude scares me a lot. So he actually, I think, just paid, yeah, like 500 rupees, way more than I can even fit in my wallet. I maybe should have gotten the giant's wallet before giving this dude the mask, but... Ah, eh, whatever. Alright. So, now we will return to the mask shop indeed and get the... Well, it's not... 
exactly the final mask. A final set of masks, because we actually get a whole bunch that we can borrow now. So, meet you back there in a moment. All right, and here we are. I'm still kicking myself a little bit for doing that before getting the giant swallow, but let us let that be water under the bridge and move on with our lives. Here we go. The Mask of Truth. That does sound a little scary, but very useful. All right, we have the Mask of Truth. This is definitely the most awesome mask. And he says all the masks are sold out, but Actually, as you can see, there's others we can get as well. We can borrow a Gerudo mask, a Zora mask, and a Goron mask. But I'm going to stick with the Mask of Truth for now and have some fun with it. All right, let's see if we slap this thing on and talk to people. Can we see into their minds? Okay, nope. <laughs> we just scare the crap out of people. Okay, so maybe that was a lie, but... As it turns out, this mask does have a pretty awesome use. These Chica Stones, which previously just told us the time when we hit them with our sword. Now if we slap on the Mask of Truth and talk to them... They actually have things to say. Gerudos sometimes come to Hyrule Castle Town to look for boyfriends. They uh, mostly just have random gossipy kind of stuff to say. I think, now that I think about it, I think these things are actually called gossip stones for exactly that reason. But sometimes they have really interesting bits of lore to impart. It is against the rules to use glasses. That is a hint for how to cheat at the treasure chest game. Melon of Lon Lon Ranch hopes a knight in shining armor will come and sweep her off her feet someday. I would be more than happy to do that for Malin, who is best girl. This one says... Malin set the original record in the obstacle course of Lon Lon Ranch. Well, considering she's just a little kid right now, that's pretty darned impressive. So, yep, we now have the Mask of Truth. Best mask in the game. Pretty awesome. Okay. And now, onward to our Skultula and item hunt. Oh, I stumbled across this random pit in Hyrule Field while I was heading to Lake Hylia. There's a number of these pits around. Let's see what this Gossip Stone has to say to us. Okay, not the most exciting information. And what's in the chest? Okay, some rupees. Also, that is one cool looking mask, I have to say. That thing is awesome. Actually, I guess I never showed the normal way of getting into Lake Hylia if you don't want to use the, the warp in Zora's Fountain. So you have to come here to the south side of Hyrule Field, climb this ladder, and that will allow you to get over this really tall fence, which is otherwise impossible to do. Then you just go along this path. And voila, Lake Hylia. Ah! 
Oh, and uh, since we haven't actually retrieved the ocarina that Zelda threw yet, Navi nags us to go do so, which I guess if you don't realize you have to do that is kind of a convenient little thing. But I'm busy right now, Navi. I'm collecting items. The fate of the world can wait. Now we're heading to a place we actually haven't been to before. This is not a place that you ever need to visit during the first act of the game. But there is a bit of optional stuff that we can get here, as well as the best background music in the game. Get away from me, you freaks! Darn pea hats. The terrain really, really abruptly becomes a lot more barren. Man, that is an abrupt shift. I'm not sure that, uh climate systems actually work like this. But this is the way to Gerudo Valley, which is a desert. Being patrolled by Gerudo. Man, this music is awesome. So there's a few different things we can get here. Uh, we can get a couple pieces of heart and one or two gold skulltulas. Sign says, no diving allowed. It won't do you any good. We can see that this is Pretty impose, uh, imposing canyon. Can't really get a good view of it. If I take just one tiny step forward and look again. Yeah. It seems to be the source of Zora's River. And there's a cuckoo here. I mean, we can go talk to those Gerudo. They look friendly. Oh, well, fine then. If that's the way you want to be about it. So since night has conveniently fallen, we should be able to get the first of the Skulltulas. And it's right here, hanging out above this small waterfall. Okay, good shot, self. Excellent, Skulltula acquired. Now in order to get the other items here, we need to do some more chicken gliding with the Cuckoo. One of the heart pieces is in that crate right there. I'm actually probably going to pass on that one for now because it's basically impossible to keep your dang Cuckoo from flinging itself off the ledge when you get that heart piece and then you have to climb all the way back up here and do everything again. So I'm going to pass on that one for now. And instead, I'm going to aim for this ledge down here. You know, these cuckoos have unbelievably strong wings. To be able to support Link like this, these are truly magical creatures. And given what happens when you anger cuckoos, they may be the most powerful creatures in all of Hyrule. The slow descent. I think we can toss our cuckoo now. There we go. Alright, so... How on earth did you get a cow down here? Your cow more so than you. That's quite the achievement. You may as well make the best of things. Yup. I was actually trying to roll into that crate. There we go. Nothing in there but a rupee. However, we know what to do with these soil patches, don't we? Alright, first, let's do the bugs. Of 
quickly grab one of the bugs we let out. Magically replenishes into three again. And the Skullchilla comes out to eat the bugs we released. Skullchilla acquired. Now let's go ahead and plant a magic bean. Grow, little sprout, grow. Uh, we're not done here yet, though. There's always secrets behind the waterfalls. Always. Oh, and there's a gossip stone here. Well, let's see what it has to say. A thief named Naboru, who haunts this area, is a Gerudo. We're not going to run into Naboru for a long time. It just occurred to me. I just kind of want to see if this Gerudo has anything interesting to say to our Shika mask. Have you heard of Naboru? Okay, she she's incredibly hostile to us when we put that mask on. <laughs> That's a strange reaction. Anyways, as I said, there's always a secret behind the waterfall. And in this case, it's a ladder leading up to an alcove. Where we find a piece of heart! Heart o piso. All right, and with that, we are done here at Gerudo Valley for now. So, time to continue the, the item roundup. Hilariously, this Zora here at Lake Hylia doesn't seem to have gotten the message that Princess Ruto has been rescued. Starting to think that gold skull teal wasn't coming out. That is so useless. Skull Kid still seems happy with the mask we sold him. And as long as we're here, now that we have the Mask of Truth, we can get another upgrade in the forest stage. This is seriously so creepy. Okay, this is way creepier than normal. Oh my gosh. We will reward you for your horrible face. Alright, so we get a Deku Nut upgrade. I actually managed to find a use for those Deku Nuts, stunning those enemies in Jabu Jabu's belly, so it's fine with me. But yeah, man, that was so creepy with all of them just staring at us like that. This, this game really has its moments. 
as long as we're in the neighborhood here, we might as well buy another magic bean. The legendary magic beans. I think this is the second to last one we can get. If I had the money, I would get the last one. But it looks like I don't quite have enough. So, this will do for now. Boy, some of these come out a lot faster than others. Alright, and I believe there was a Skultula crawling on the wall here as well that we couldn't get without the boomerang. So we all know what that means. Oh, my cat is chewing on my headphone cords. Stop doing that. Could try repairing my wireless earbuds with my computer. I had to reboot it. Maybe that'll fix the problem. Rebooting legitimately fixes like 80% of computer problems. I say this as a professional software developer. It's just true. Okay, there's still more stuff we could get. But honestly, I think this is good enough. As I said, I'm not 100%ing this game. I'm getting kind of tired of running around all over creation, getting extra optional items left and right. And we have plenty. We now have over 30 gold Skulltulas, which means we can go to the Skulltula house and get the next two rewards. The second reward will be worthless to us because it's for the Rumble Pack, which doesn't work if you're not using a Nintendo 64 controller. But the third reward... See, so yeah, I kind of missed your explanation earlier because I already had 10 Skulltulas when I talked to you. Will you actually explain what's going on here? No, he won't. I think we... I think we just missed that explanation forever. Alright, well you look like you've been saved. Okay, now there's the real prize, the giant's wallet. We can now carry up to 500 rupees. I think this dude will give us the Stone of Agony. Yup. If you equip a rumble pack. Yep, that's not going to be happening. Excellent. The next reward at 40 Skulltulas is just some bomb chews, so it's pretty worthless. The reward at 50 is a piece of heart, so we'll go for 50 if we can get it. And looks like we'll probably be able to, because we're already well on our way. Alright, that's enough fooling around. Let's actually progress the story now. So, back to Hyrule Castle Town, and let's retrieve... Zelda's Ocarina from the moat. Should be somewhere around here. Ah, it's emitting bubbles. That's convenient. Alright, I missed. What's Navi have to say about it anyway? Just what's that? I'll get it one of these times. I can do it. I just have to believe in myself. Dun 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 dun!
And now we learn the Song of Time. Kind of a haunting melody. This is such a bad plan. We're literally opening up the sacred realm. For Ganondorf. He wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't do it for him. I can't get over what a stupid plan this is. We could just not teach him the Song of Time, not give him the spiritual stones. He'll never be able to open it. Well, the game will not progress if we don't follow through with this idiotic plan. And we want to play more of this game, don't we? Because it's super fun, so onward we go. I do love this temple. Well, that looks quite magnificent. With the Master Sword up on that dais, with the shaft of light splashing down on the steps, that is really just beautiful. You can tell they put a lot of thought into that imagery. And it paid off. And with that, Link makes a huge mistake. Exactly! We let him in! This is our fault!
And now, finally, we have become Adult Link. I really do prefer playing as Adult Link over Child Link. You're big now. Also, this place is way cool looking. This definitely seems like a flaw in the plan. Uh, not really, but I'll say yes. Yep, we done goofed. I've read that originally the Temple of Light was supposed to be a whole additional dungeon in this game. It would be really cool to see what that might have been like. This chamber is just so awesome. So, similar to A Link to the Past, except in that case it was Descendants of the Sages. And we get the first medallion for free. The others aren't going to come quite so easy. Now our true quest begins. It's a Sheikah. That's right, five more dungeons to complete, not counting Ganon's own castle. They weren't real creative when they named you Sheik. No offense. So we can do the temples a little out of order, but I'm pretty sure we have to do the forest temple first because we need the bow. All right. 
You're kind of a small guy, Sheik. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, Kakariko Village, you say. Well, yeah, we can't use most of the weapons that Child Link could use. I don't really understand why an adult can't use sticks, slingshots, boomerangs, or put on masks, but... Well, since he can't, for whatever reason, we will just have to stick with our sword for now until we get a new arsenal. Well, let's see what things look like in the future after we handed the Triforce over to Ganon on a silver platter. Temple of Time, at least, looks pretty unchanged. Okay, that looks a little different. Uh, a little foreboding. A little threatening, perhaps. And the bustling town square is now full of re-deads, so that's exciting. Luckily, these re-deads can't paralyze us, unlike the normal variety. Okay, and Hyrule Castle has been replaced by Dracula's Castle. Or Ganon's Castle, as the case may be. And that's a giant pit of lava. Oh boy. Some bones. Don't know why, but I want my bombs on the right button. And, uh, yeah, Ganon's got some serious magical power thanks to the Triforce because his castle is suspended on a floating island over this giant lava pit. Oh, I hear a, uh, a Skulltula. Oops. Err. Okay, I don't think we can get that yet anyway. I don't think we have the item we need because we can't use boomerangs. So we'll be back. Hyrule has seen better days. So Sheik told us to go to Kakariko Village, and indeed there is an excellent item waiting for us there that we're going to need. However, I do have another destination in mind first. Well, uh, you're kind of a creepy looking dude. Excuse me, sir, or ma'am, or whatever you are. How'd you know? Uh, <laughs> that's a rather mature and adult implication. A ghost shop, you say? Well, we got a lovely one here. They hate the world! So they're emo edgelords. So there is sort of ten super pose scattered around Hyrule Field, which we'll be able to capture once we acquire some additional items. Uh, and the prize is the final bottle. I don't know whether I'm actually going to get that because it's a big pain and three bottles is frankly plenty. So we'll see whether I bother with that particular item. Okay, so yeah. Not looking great, is it? Hyrule Castle Town. Now, there is somewhere that I want to go and see how things are going there before I go to Kakariko Village. Because Malin is my one true waifu of the Zelda universe, I want to go make sure she's okay. So our first stop is actually going to be Lon Lon Ranch. You are annoying. Get out of here. If I had a ranged weapon, I would show you.
Well, the ranch seems to still be standing, at least. The cuckoos are still here. We even get the cheerful music, so hey, that's kind of promising. Oops. I, I'm not doing that intentionally. Okay, here we go. It's Ingo. He's dressed a little fancier than he used to be. Hmm. Strange. Where's Talon? Where's Melon? Oh, my cat's on the move. Don't knock over anything important, girl. Bye! How are things here in the stable? Well, the cows seem okay. The horses seem okay. How about the corral, or the pasture, or whatever? Oh, I hear a familiar song. It's Melon! And she's all grown up now. She doesn't seem to recognize us right now. Hmm, so where's Talon? Interesting. Seems in order to get answers, we're going to have to uh, switch things today. Maybe then we can see what's going on here. All right, well, let's check inside the stable. And here's Malin. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. Low polygon model or not, Malin is adorable. So what's going on, Malin? Where's, where's your dad? Yeah, uh, that kind of might have been my fault. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to make everything okay again. Mr. Ingo? Mr. Ingo took over and kicked out your dad. Well, dang, things have really gone downhill for poor Malin. Well, she wants a shining, a knight in shining armor to sweep her off her feet. I think we can help her with her problems. Don't worry, Malin, Hero Link is on the job. Where's this jerk Ingo? Hey Ingo, nice clothes. What's the story here, buddy? You're awfully defensive considering I haven't even opened my mouth yet. I can't exactly argue with him on that point. It did seem like he pretty much kept the place running while Talon just took naps all the time. I don't think it's worth your time to win recognition from that scumbag. So this sequence is how you get the horse, Epona, which you absolutely want to do because man does it make traveling around Hyrule Field and some other locations way faster and more enjoyable. However, the way to acquire the horse is an absolutely devilish puzzle. So the first thing we have to do is accept Ingo's invitation to ride a horse. I don't need your explanation, Ingo. 
Now he'll offer us a horse to ride, but we don't want that one. Sorry, horse. But what we do is we play Epona's song. And that will cause Epona to run up to us. We mount up. We can talk to Ingo, but that won't do anything the first time. <laughs> he has a flicker of recognition. Seems like Malin didn't really recognize us, which is interesting. I Yeah, I know. No, I want to keep riding. <laughs> what a nice guy. You're a real charmer, Ingo. Okay, so we need to build up more speed to jump a high fence like that. We might as well get a little practice in. We're gonna need it. There we go. Ooh, we got some rupees. You need more speed to jump a higher fence, like this one. There we go. Yeah, and you only let me ride for one minute, you miser. Okay, so then we need to do it again. The fact that you need to do this twice, I feel like, is one of the trickier things about this puzzle. Because if you do this the first time, and nothing comes of it, why would you think you have to do the exact same thing again? But you do. So it's, like I said, probably the trickiest thing about this puzzle. But now that we're riding for the second time, if we talk to Ingo again, this time he challenges us to a race. And makes a wager with us. And we're obviously going to want to take him up on this. Now, it is absolutely crucial that we win this race. And he kind of cheats by getting a head start, which is quite irritating. So we're going to want to burn some of our carrots to try and get ahead of him. Okay, kind of failed there. Okay, this is my opening. There we go. Now stay ahead of him so that he can't accelerate past us. Man, he is rough on his horse. Good lord. All right, that's a win for us. Oh, you okay there, Ingo? <laughs> seem to be having some issues. So then he challenges us to a rematch and says we can keep the horse if we win. Now, once again, we absolutely have to win this race because this is how we get Epona, and it's much more difficult this time because Ingo is much faster. And once again, he cheats by getting a quick early lead. He jumps the gun. Okay, this may be my opening to get ahead. All right, now if I can stay ahead of him and block him. Go! Go! Okay, I think we did it. That is tricky. Once again, he goes into convulsions. It sure is, Epona. I mean, I like played a song right in front of you. You're not very attentive, are you, Ingo? <laughs> Sucker. So that's a pretty dirty trick. Fortunately, we have a way around this little loophole he's found. And this is the last element of the puzzle. Build up enough speed and we just jump over the wall.
And it's a flying horse. Now Epona is ours forever. And now we're going to be able to get around Hyrule way faster. Superb. All right, first thing I'm going to do is go right back in the ranch and see what's changed now that we've won Epona. Well, Ingo, you're looking a lot more obsequious. That is a fast and dramatic personality change, my friend. <laughs> what the heck? It's like he was under some kind of curse and we broke it or something. Either that or this is just completely fake. Alright, where's Malin? There she is. How are you doing now, Malin? Feeling better? Now you remember me. The fairy boy. Please stop calling me fairy boy. Of course I remember you, Malin. You're my one true waifu. From the Zelda universe, anyway. I'll bet it did. I, he never was a nice person, so I'm confused by this personality change. She says her dad is coming back, but that's actually going to require our intervention, as I recall. Well, you're welcome, Malin. All's well that ends well. Okay. Looks like we're done here for now. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We did an item roundup, went to the future, and we discovered that things had gone horribly long, horribly long, good lord, horribly wrong at Lon Lon Ranch, and then we rescued our one true waifu, Malin. Huzzah to us. Our quest is not over, though. We have a whole lot left to do before we can say we have set things right in Hyrule and undone the horrible mistake that we made. So we will begin that long epic journey in the next episode. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I'll see you then.